Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah. By the grace and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have reached the 27th day of Ramadan. And we have completed yet another odd night. By the grace and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all our rewards, grant us all the rewards for our actions of ibadat on this particular odd night and all the odd nights previous to this. Inshallah, we have just one more odd night. That's the 29th night of Ramadan. Let's consider some of the benefits of the night of Laylatul Qad and seeking the night of Laylatul Qad and the rewards that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed with Laylatul Qad in the month of Ramadan is directly linked to that of the Holy Quran and it's being sent to this worldly skies by the name and the mercy of Allah, by the favor of Allah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentions to us, Man qama laylatul qadr. Who will ever stand in the night of laylatul qadr, imanan, having firm faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, believing in this night, believing in the revelation that came to the world on this night, believing in the rewards of the angels, salamun hatta, that they give salams and they crowd the skies, the earthly skies on this particular night seeking to give peace, aman, and giving ameen to those who will be making dua, supplication to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in these nights that are such precious nights for duas. He says, man qama imanan wahtisaban, who has full understanding of what is required of them in these nights that they would make the effort and strive to attain the ultimate benefit of these nights, in particular, the odd nights that one will make an additional effort upon to earn the rewards of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to earn Allah's forgiveness, to earn Allah's Jannah paradise, and to earn that opportunity that Allah is pleased with us, and Allah has forgiven us our sins, and Allah has elevated us, mashallah. This is amongst the benefits that he's mentioned Man qama laylatul qad imanan wahti saban. All of this acknowledgement and understanding is granted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to us to recognize the rewards that we get. And apart from it, he says, whoever wakes and does these actions of ibadat, ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min dambihi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive them their sins that come before them. This, my dear brothers and sisters, tells us a very important lesson that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even in the nights when we make the extra sacrifice of worship, in exchange for this, Allah forgive our sins. Allah forgive our sins. And this is what we want, we want to achieve. We want to be free from sins. And we beg from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness, begging for his forgiveness. A person who will wake these nights and will recite Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has also mentioned regarding Quran, the person who would rotila Quran tartila, who would spend time reading Quran in these nights. Allah SWT mentions, Inna sanulqi alayka qawlan thaqila, that those who would recite on this Quran, it is heavy. Yani meaning it is heavy in the scale of deeds and weight of recitation. So even in the nights, and the days we are connected in the month of Ramadan to Quran, spend a lot of time in reading Quran for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah would increase that reward. Kawlan taqila. Fear that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his infinite mercy grants us an attachment to this particular night that we have made the sacrifices. And we have, will hope, inshallah, by his grace and mercy that we are attaining the benefits of Laylatul Qadr, which amounts to 83 years of Ibarat. May Allah guide us all and make it easy for us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.